Dallas County Bureau. High school athletes are now moving into phase two when it comes to those summer workouts. Ada's on your side with Megan Gannon. She's joining us live at East Lake High School in Tarpon Springs. And Megan, there are some changes that have been made in phase two, right? Yeah, that's exactly right, David. So, you know, for the last two weeks, athletes here in Pinellas County, they've been in phase one of workouts. But because of the recent spike in COVID-19 cases, the school district really had to go back and reevaluate how they were going to move forward into phase two. So there are several changes that have been made. So we're going to break it down for you this morning. So when it comes to phase two for student athletes here in Pinellas County, it's very similar to phase one in the sense that outdoor workouts only will be continuing. Gyms and weight rooms will remain closed at this time. However, here's where the changes come. Coaches can increase the number of students with up to 50 students at the facility at one time and no more than 20 people, including coaches, in a training group. And the time limit for workout has increased to 90 minutes. We have to keep them in our groups. They'll move around campus and do different stuff, but they'll stay with the same coach the whole time. They have to bring their own water bottles, their own towel. Um, if they run out of water, we have plenty, but a coach with a glove on will fill it up for them so the kids won't touch anything. Now, of course, we know that phase two is set to last for another two weeks as well. So it's set to end on July 12th. Then, of course, the district will go back and reevaluate anything, figuring out whether they need to make changes for phase three and what guidelines they will need to implement, implement to move forward. Reporting live in Tarpon Springs this morning, Megan Gannon, eight on your side. Yeah, some changes there for those students to get used to. Megan, thank you so much.